My tongue could punch holes through lead right now. Oh, my lips are on fire. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. I punched my nose! I punched my nose! Hey guys, what's up? It's Zoe here and this is Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Today we're here with two of your famous Twitch streamers, Bosch Merchant and Mr. Git. <laughs> Embrace the cringe! I love it. Boys, how are we feeling? Are you excited? <laughs> I've seen so many people complaining about the de bomb. It doesn't make sense because that's not the hottest. Okay, let's kick things off with our first wing and question. So you have to take a wing first and use the first sauce, which is buffalo. the buffalo hot sauce, which is 1,800, what, what do you call it? Skull. 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 On the Skull. Right. Do we just slap it, it on there, boss? Now put it in there now like a good man. No, no, that's not for you, Lily, okay? You won't like Oh my God, she's like licking her lips like crazy. I promise you, Lily, you won't like that. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I've oh, never... You, listen, look at this. You said like, put a little bit more on there, pal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. Okay, small chip. Mm. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a bit of a kick. Behind the scenes, mm. can you describe your setup and any quirky gadgets or tools you can't live without while streaming? But also, do you have any funny rituals or superstitions that you perform before you hit start on stream? So my setup is a... Uh, oh, yours is, yours is class. <laughs> I, that's, I, that's, mm -hmm. I have a very... Uh, my setup in terms of actual tech and stuff is decent, but I, I stream from a washroom. So I've, I've got a washing machine, a fridge, um, two fridges, uh, a sink in all in a small room where I stream from. And you will regularly hear when it gets to the last seven minutes on super cycle, you'll hear the washing machine going off in my stream. But uh, no superstitions. No. Actually, I don't wear cops. Usually I started streaming and I put on a cap. I was only saying this is earlier on. I started wearing a cap because I just wanted to have, some, have something. Mm. Maybe I, I saw an opportunity to brand in the future or something. That's why I'm I wore sorry. It's actually quite that, hot. That's why I wore a cap. So I, don't, I don't wear caps otherwise. It's a little bit It's getting giddy. Oh my God. It's a little bit of a kick. It's a little bit of a kick. I'm not even It's really nice, but. <laughs> Your answer. I've always wanted my room to be cozy um, because, like, where I first started streaming was in my grandfather's library. Um, so I've always kind of felt like it needed to be a little bit personal and a little bit like just cozy so that everyone can click in and be like, oh, this room looks like a vibe. And recently, because of the lighting in that room now, it was before looking a little bit bright. So when we uh, changed it, it got a little bit more warm homely homely i guess um i always wanted to have like my personal favorite stuff in the background like games so you saw like resident evil ryan gosling ryan gosling of course ryan gosling uh favorite movie drive and then i have like a, a couple of quirky stuff dell sent uh the john snow um long claw sword which means a lot as well because i love game of thrones um so yeah no that's really really it warm warm cozy vibey yeah any quirky rituals that you do before you start streaming? Anything you do? I say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever part of the world you're in. I just started saying that. And then someone said that's from that movie. Truman Show. Yeah, but I looked at it and he says, in case I don't see you, have a, have a good morning, have a good evening, afternoon and night. Or something like that. Next question. Next question, next us. Start prepping it. Yeah. And I'm going to ask the next question. This is called jalapeno hot sauce. Smoky J hot sauce, 6,000 scopes. Jesus Christ, don't yeah. tell me that, Zoe. I don't want this to get stuck in my other sauce. Yeah, but don't be generous there now, my man. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> what? That's what? a lot. It's a fab color. Yeah. I... <coughs> Ooh. Oh, f stings the nostrils. Jesus, there's a kick off that. Guys, that's a lot of sauce. We know that community is a huge part of streaming. How do you foster a sense of community among your viewers? And what's one memorable interaction you've had with a fan? Speaking of memorable, let's take a bite of the second wing. Go for it. 
That's not as bad as the first one, dude. That's okay. That's actually like very chill. That's really nice. Yeah. I think my favorite is because my content is very interaction based, the people that I meet in game, they're like, oh my God, are you Mr. Gibbon? That like those, like they don't really come into the stream anymore, but I love it when I bump into someone in game and they just recognize me, whether it's from Tarkov or Daisy or whatever. I think one of my favorite interactions was, um, was Chris the fireman on Tarkov when I bumped into him and he told me a story and then we donated him a PlayStation 5 and a Smacks um, is in, in Chicago. She went out to him and she gifted him the, or she gave him the, the PlayStation 5. So I loved there that how strong my community was in a sense of they will look after others when you just ask them. Like she offered to be like, hey, I can actually drop over the PlayStation to him because I'm just up the road. And by up the road, she was an hour away. So that was huge. And then a month later, after the interaction with um, Chris, the fireman, he, I got into a firefight with him and I was out of ammo. And I said something like, oh buddy, I'm out of ammo. We don't have to do this. And he was like, wait, wait, Gibbon? And he was, and he's like, it's Chris, the fireman. How are you doing, buddy? And he was just like, hey, I have a picture here. I'm going to show you. And he sent me a picture. I didn't post up anywhere yet. And he was just really, really chill. Like, I just absolutely love that I met someone in game, gave him something that might help him and his, his boys. And it was because of a community member that dropped him over the thing. Uh, a month later, I bump into him again. And he just says, thank you. It was great. Just great. But like, but yeah. It's taken me a long time to kind of not really, I, I still don't think I've got it properly yet, but I think the core of any successful streamer is having a very good, tight, honest community behind them. Uh, and I think that's a beat a lot of streamers miss. A lot of streamers think if they just get out there, put their content out there, uh, sure, that can sell itself. But at the same time, the people who are going to stick around with you long term mm -hmm. are the people that really connect with you. And I think as a streamer, you got to make a little bit more of an effort in terms of like giving back to your community, be it like a huge, a huge thing for, for my community anyway, recently has been the seven days to die server. Yeah, It's made, basically made the discord pop off. And what that does in turn is it invites new people to come in, friendships are made, and then it becomes people not going to stream just because of you, mm -hmm. people going to the stream because of each other and the Discord because of each other. And that is the, the core of a good community in my opinion, not not the streamer who heads it, it's how it runs itself when the streamer's not there. Yep. Uh, and I think a lot of streamers miss that beat. Um, there's been lots of memorable, memorable moments. For me, I was saying this the other day, we did, it's the small impacts and the, and the small things that you don't realize how mm. they impact people. Um, we were doing a charity stream, this is a year, two or three years ago, four years ago, and it was for mental health awareness and suicide prevention. And uh, I'm a, an absolute sucker when it comes to like anything to do with kids or sick kids or anything like that. But this, we were, we were basically raising money for this and this woman came in and said, look, thank you so much for doing this. My husband recently left me and my young daughter on this world, i.e. he couldn't take it anymore. Mm. And it, that just, I just impacted me. Of course, of course. Stream. Yeah. And I, I, that's something that always sticks with me that like, you never know the impact you have or what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who watch it and might need me someone who says anything, you know what I mean? Someone mm. who resonates to what you do. So uh, just those small interactions and those small things and you know, you might never see it, but you yeah. might mean more to some book person out there than you realize. Uh, and yeah, that's 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 it. Yeah, that's two. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna be crying from the stories. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Okay, so number three is Stellar Fuzz, Funky's Hot Sauce Factory, and it's nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. This is like over double the last one. Well, the last one was actually fine. Was it okay? The first one, the first one was worse than the, than the second one. Christ. Okay. Oh, look at this, Ed. Look at Ashy Blows. It's good. No, oh, it's a good one. Does it smell good? I can smell it. Oh! <laughs> that's okay. hot, man. That's, that burned my nostrils. Okie dokie. Just like these wings, let's talk about challenges. What has been your biggest challenge as a streamer and how did you overcome it? I'm going to take a bite. Mm. 
Oh, wow. I want more of that. Oh, that's, it smells atrocious. That's actually beautiful. That's really Kind of like a sweet chili kind of, isn't it? Mm. That's actually not spicy mm. either. It feels nice. Uh -huh. This has been pretty, pretty chill so far. Oh, here. 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 I'm going to try it. Because it's spicy. There's a bit of a kick in it, but it's sweet and sour. Oh, no milk. Oh, sorry. No milk. Oh. Oh my god, I love it. That hit the top of my tongue. What the hell? How are you? Well, there's a kick out of that. That's it. It's getting, it's getting tougher whenever I breathe in. No, it's just when you breathe in, it's. I'd say, I'd say the hardest. Um, it's probably, I don't know, like keeping in the right mental um, zone. Uh, there'll be some times where. Yeah, that'll be the hardest challenge, I think. It'll be like, sometimes I'd post up a TikTok or a video and it'll do terrible. And I'll be like, well, I thought it would be amazing. And the ones that do a terrible, or I think it'd do terrible, are doing amazing. So it's kind of hard to like keep yourself positive and get through it. Because, and especially with, with the way TikTok is now, like the streams have been absolutely incredible. But I, th I think that would be the hardest is, <laughs> there's a kick, dude. It's just the fact that you have to be in the right mental zone to keep going forward. Yeah. You? You know what? In a similar vein, yeah. Um, but for me, <clears throat> you're talking about momentum and ebbs and flows and yeah. how you're like keeping momentum or keeping, sorry, the positive outlook when you're down. Similar for me, probably the biggest challenge for me still to date was I obviously started off as a variety streamer, then I went to GTA. GTA is what brought me a lot of success. Uh, I played with a lot of big streamers. I was in a group with a bit, lot of big streamers. Um, but I got to the stage where I wanted to do my own thing. And I didn't want to uh, want to be seen as riding the coattails of anyone else and only being watched because I'm a, associated with certain people or playing a certain game. So when I left GTA, uh, a lot of that support left straight away. And it's yeah. been a bit of a journey rebuilding it. Oh yeah, I, I, so, I agree with you, 100%. Change, when you go from a main game streamer to another game, uh, especially how hardcore the support is in the GTA genre, uh, it was a big, it, it was, it was, it, it has been, it still is a big journey, but we're, we're, we're like, it still is a challenge, but mm. uh, I'm much happier myself because I'm doing my own thing, you know? Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Baron, how are you? No, it's just, there's a, uh, it's breeding. It's a really, and so there's a bit of a follow-up one to, nice. to this one, okay. Uh, yeah. Are there any other streamers or content creators who have significantly influenced your style or approach? Not just the, your content, but your view of streaming, of even the camera lenses, lighting, etc. For me personally, it was, it was Dr. Disrespect. Or, what? <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> it just this hot ones took an interesting turn. It was Tim the Tapman. Tim the Tapman. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I was thinking about it in my head for a joke. Don't say, don't, don't say Dr. Disrespect. Don't say Dr. No. Disrespect. <laughs> Dr. Disrespect. Sarcastically, if I said Doctor Disrespect, but it came out so serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Tim Chapman, man. Um, but like, I suppose, right? So when you go back to when it was like 2013, 2014, <laughs> look at Josh, it's going crazy to delay. Um, 2013, 2014. Now, I will say, it was sex with disrespect and so much for, um, for like, you know, just being consistent. Yeah, just being consistent and just being hilarious. And the games we were playing were the games that I was playing. And then, like, later on, later on, I came across Tim the Tapman around the CSGO, the CSGO time. And I was like, this guy is going to be huge. And he was a really big dude at the time. Uh, like, as in, like, physically. 
and I was like, this guy is just loving life, you know. He's just having the banter with his with his uh, with his community. And then I stopped watching Twitch for ages, and then I went back in um, in 2016, 2017, and Tim the Tapman was still doing it. And I just fell in love back in his content, like his Sea of Thieves videos and his Fortnite videos and all that stuff. And I was like, I really want to do what he's doing. And that was it. I mean, it was just this whole energy and everything. Like, I, I, I just I was obsessed with it. Um, but like when I was younger, uh, younger than uh, when I was like 16, 17, it was PewDiePie. Uh, he would do his horror stuff and I just loved the horror games and I think what added to it was the fact that he was very very well He wasn't bad at English, but he struggled and I feel like I struggle with English as well because the whole dyslexia thing like example Dr. Disrespect I mean say that but um, Yeah, it was a mixture between Tim Tatman and Dr. Disrespect and there's a load of others as well, but they would be the two main ones I didn't really I didn't watch streamers before I started streaming didn't know anyone didn't really watch YouTube even when I started playing, I didn't really, wasn't really aware of who was successful, who was big. It only took me a bit of time in, in the industry to realize and figure out who was successful and big. Um, probably somebody who's had the biggest impact on me for a uh, multitude of reasons. Um, certainly, firstly and foremost, like their support to me has been immeasurable in how I've grown personally. Um, and just them as a person made showed me as somebody who honestly genuinely genuinely tries to value the real side of streaming not just putting on a show and being your own looking out for yourself like i i, I like the realness of when people are closed doors i, I like to you know make, making connections with people and being honest with people mm. i try to be honest with my community i try to be honest with people behind closed doors and some of <clears throat> yeah is the kind of person who's his, who i'm talking about jared uh who i've actually thankfully got to get quite friendly with um was just somebody who uh showed me that you you can be the most successful person in the world and still be the exact same as you are on and off like yeah. there's no bullshit there's no agenda there's no ego there's no i want to play with this person because of this or i don't want to talk to this person because he's below me literally exactly who he is uh, and that goes such a far way with me um it, it, honestly um and it just showed me that there you know there are people at the top Mm. who are just being them and are successful being them and that's integrity is a very important thing and yeah. that's, he would probably be my biggest for all those reasons combined there's obviously been people who's helped me along the way and people i've looked up to but i'd say summit probably is the one i'd fair play and you're mad if you played them like in your yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy so, uh, okay you can prep the next one but we have another question okay oh uh -huh. which one's this now uh this <laughs> yeah that one we're only on four this one is Los Calientes Verde. Los Calientes Verde. <laughs> Yay! Hot ones that sauce, 36,000. Okay, okay. Streaming can really change us as viewers, but also as a person living life. In what ways do you feel streaming has changed you both personally and professionally? And how do you manage the balance between streaming, personal life and other commitments? <clears throat> streaming honestly hasn't really changed me at all. I'm exactly, I, I honestly feel like I'm pretty much the same person. It's, it's, it's changed me in some regards in terms of, I'm probably less social than I used to be because I find streaming as a career is quite introverted. Uh, you don't get to go out and do as much because you're obviously the time demand, especially as a live streamer, the time demand to actually be live and do stuff and edit and stuff. You don't get out as much as you, you used to. Having been a very social person before I streamed, I definitely don't really do that as much anymore. So. Uh, challenges, I obviously have a missus and a eight-year-old, so it's presented a lot of challenges in the past. Uh, and it's a it's a lesson and a journey that I've, uh, it's been hard at times. There's definitely been a lot of times when certainly my missus, my, my partner, isn't somebody who understands the online world. And for years she referred to me as playing games, you know, that was what she saw it as. Uh, and it just, <clears throat> it created a little bit of friction uh, between us uh, and there was definitely difficult times at the start uh, which we kind of worked through and we've kind of navigated uh, but it's I, I think ultimately it, it, it when, when you get to that point it teaches you to value the time that you have more when you have it um, I certainly for me anyway I value my time my weekends are just weekends that's I've I'll do weekend stuff with my missus and kiddo because I'll miss out on that during the week and I think I don't know if I would have had that appreciation of balance if I hadn't gone through this journey as a streamer, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it's changed me, but I've learned a lot. 
that's kind of... Um, for myself, I mean, I think it's given me more confidence in myself, especially being goofy, <coughs> being cringe. And I feel like with the whole streaming side, it's kind of made like, so before I feel like sure half of my life was like fake with the whole blogging and vlogging and modeling shite. Um, but then like dipping into the, the content creation scene, I felt like I actually was doing what I was born to do, if that makes sense. Um, the challenges with the subathon is definitely the personal stuff. I mean, I should do, I should, I should be doing so much more with Zoe, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like you get up in the morning, you want to stay in bed because you're tired, but you got to get up. Um, I, I feel like I need to go to the gym because I look at myself in the mirror and I look like shit. So I'm like, I need to go to the gym. But then it's like, I could be using that time to go do something with, with Zoe or do something with my family or something like that. Um, and for me, like, unfortunately, I can't multitask. I wish I could, I'm just absolutely brutal. So like, so far we're on day day 12 of the subathon. It has been a challenge, but we've been going for walks, you know? We've been going to the cafes in the morning. We've been sitting down. Uh, we go to the gym together now. We've, got, we've went twice now during the subathon. It is definitely a challenge. I wish I could do more, but the thing is, it's like when you're doing, see, I think the hardest thing for me is I start at 12 my time and I end at about 10 my time. And then it takes me about an hour or two to like calm down. And it's just like, it's hard to like say, so when you're finished the stream, there's a lot more to do with the stream because you got to do your phone calls. You got to do your emails. You got to like contact your editors. You got to do all that. So the viewers won't see what happens before the stream or after. They just see you the time that you're on the screen. And it's so, so hard to explain what you do, or it's so hard to explain to the viewers that you need to do the stuff after the stream and before the stream. So it's like, oh, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end early. And then you have a, a few people that'll be very, very upset. So that's a huge challenge as well to try and keep them happy, keep your personal life happy. But at the end of the day, the personal life is, is there for you for life. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's me waffling on there now. But. Ooh, that was yeah. deep. Did you have the chicken wing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That was... <laughs> that was... Yeah, that was... Turning this into some sort of like... <laughs> what? Okay, so what one was that? That um, was number four. That was Los Calientes Verde. And what was the score on that? 36,000. And what was the one before that? 19,000. What the f***? Oh, this has been cakewalks. So. This has been grand. No, the, 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 the sweet chili one, the one before it. Moving on. <clears throat> okay, for anyone new to streaming, what advice would you give about etiquette and behavior in the streaming community? When should you show your true colors to the public with either weird noises, music taste, food likes, or toots? Never. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Um. Okay, so get the next one ready there. Yeah. It is queso, sin queso, hot sauce, and it's 52,000. Oh, this is the cheesy one. <laughs> Wouldn't be a huge fan of that one. No. That's a bit hot. Yeah, that's a bit spicy. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. A little bit more there now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. Excuse um, me. Yeah, so... Uh, I think you should be yourself from the very beginning. You should... Uh, you should show off your cringiness and your music taste at the very start. Don't be fake. Um, but what I've noticed in a lot of streamers and got great nurse, that, um, a lot of people have a different accent and voice that's very um, <laughs> So, it's a. Uh, I remember when I first started streaming, but you go back, you see the different. Um, <laughs> um, <you> know, <laughs> it's hot, man. It's really hot. <laughs> it's it's kind of hot. It's really, really hot, man. What is it? It's 10 o'clock at night. It's really hard to do this. Uh, so. What I, what I noticed when I was starting off with this... <laughs> with, with streaming, it's a... Uh, I had a different accent, I feel like. It was more like... <laughs> it, 
it was more like, really deep. hey guys, Mr. Gibbon here. And I would put on like a more enunciated American accent so that my viewers could understand. But the thing was, I had no viewers. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing it all for nothing. Um, and then I kind of got more comfortable with myself. And uh, I just went into my normal person and stuff from there. You? Uh, what was the question? I don't know. Oh, um, oh what advice? Just you press live. I mean, just yeah. press live. Do whatever. Don't don't worry about anything. Don't worry about Wait. don't don't impress. Don't worry about impressing people What's either. My answer got to do with it. I don't know what Ed was saying. For the last, I don't know what Ed was saying for the last five minutes. I think he's uh, hallucinating. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just press live. Just go live and just go. Consistency, consistency will will get you there. Might, but it will help. You know, just be consistent in what you're doing. It's just marketing. Marketing too is really, really popular. Like really, really. Uh, uh, Put yourself on different platforms, yes. not, um, not just live. Stream less. Streaming live is the hardest place to grow. Yeah. So get shorts out there, put, make YouTube videos, build an audience on other platforms. Going longer live hours doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get more followers. So yeah. find that sweet spot where things start getting quiet and use your time to do other things as well. Jesus. Okie dokie. That was hot. Never Can I get water? No. I don't, I'm not having milk. No. I can't drink water. water is worse. worse. Yeah. This one is Marita Bourbon Maple Reaper and it's 73,000. 73. Maple Reaper. Yeah. Anything with Reaper, you know it's true. This is the Carolina Reaper yeah. one. Well, you know it means business. <laughs> shit, I'm oh, sure. <laughs> you know, shut up. Do you, you know. want wings with that sauce? <laughs> I'm trying to do the authentic wings experience here. Hot ones. Uh, Hold on, chip it on there. Uh, Get it in there now. Ah. Get it in there now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh, yeah. Give the question. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, it's burning can, the nostril hair. Can we get a bit reflective when you look back at your streaming career in the, when you look back at your streaming <gasps> career in the yeah. future, what do you hope to be remembered for? Maybe you might be remembered for eating this next wing. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Remembering? Yeah. I'll be honest. I want to be remembered. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, that's. I want to be remembered for Dima. Oh! My saliva is like oh. lava right now. Oh, dude. Huh? Swallowing my own saliva is a uh, torture. Oh, oh, okay. oh, what? My oh, what is my that? Tongue. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. my, to my tongue could punch holes through lead right now. Oh, my lips are on fire. Uh, my lips, uh, my lips are on fire. <laughs> I've never okay. Focus, 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 focus. <laughs> okay, remember it. I want to be remembered. <laughs> you take this one, you take this one. I want to be remembered. For just being goofy and cringe. L W and W's in the chat. Please. And my lips are literally numb. I'm not even kidding. Um, I want to be remembered for myself and just being real. And just being the same person that I am now. Off stream, on stream, I guess. Just being that wholesome oh, interactive person with a bubbling. <laughs> Personality. Oh. Uh, you? What about you? Huh? I, uh, my, my lips. I can't sorry, feel sorry. my top lip. I want to. Yeah. What Ed said. Same. Be, be remembered as somebody who inspired people to, to just be themselves. And, and obviously, I'm an old man. Uh, I'm 65 next year. So I want to inspire older people to get started at whatever age. And, and just know that it doesn't matter who what age you are, who you are. You know, there's no script to this. Just, just do it. Be you and connect to people and be yourself. You know what I mean? Oh, oh. oh my God. Okay. Huh? okay. God, it's hot. Uh, just a reminder, because I've been told to remind you, do not touch your eyes. Okay? Oh, touch my eyes? I don't know. Have I? Have I? I think you'd know if you did. 
just really quickly while you're both still struggling before we go on to another oh, week. We're fine, sorry. Um, <laughs> fine. <laughs> What's the strangest comment or message you've received from a viewer during a stream? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've gotten some really strange messages offering, like, I'm not even kidding, offering like thousands and thousands and thousands for soul picks. I know we joke about it all the time. Why would you not do that? No, dude. It's a toe. No, when you start. Who cares if that shit gets leaked? No, they want. It's a toe. No, no, no. They wanted my whole, whole picture. They wanted to have the mirror there. They wanted your toe in between your legs. No, they wanted like me standing with bare feet. So it's bare No, no, no. Standing up in front of a mirror. Not nude though. No, no, no. Yeah, it's like shorts. Who cares? No. Wasn't you that. Should, that could just be a holiday Dude, snap. I said, you know what? You can t you can find someone else. Get out of my community. That was so strange. No way. Uh, I'd say ten k. Ten k. Ten thousand. No, 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 no. That was no. That was that was very strange. Oh, another one as well. Was, Finder, it's a thing. You know that. No, no, I know that. But I, when I first started streaming, right, there was a dude that was in my community. I won't go name and names. Well, I would go name and names, but I can't remember. He um. He just let me look him up here. He went back to my old modeling days and took all my pictures and put them up in OnlyFans and he charged the account 40 euro a month and people would click into it. Honest to God. And he was like, I didn't know him. I didn't know it was going on, but it was going on for like weeks and months and months and months. I, I feel like I've grown up on a completely different platform to everyone else because I don't get any weird shit no. ever, man. Even with the community, man, even with the toxicity, we never get any weird shit. Mm. I never get any weird DMs. I don't, like, nothing. No. I'm like, look, genuinely, no. I'm so fortunate. In six years, I just have some my, my TikTok, chill space. I, I don't look at my TikTok messages anymore really? because it's genuinely, it's, it's, it's the dark, dark web. It's, I don't know how, it's so strange. So awesome. It's so, so strange. I mean, look, I'm all about, like, Egging people on and like taking the piss and stuff like that and just having the having the laughs. Do you know? What? I mean, you can just be, you know, be, you know, have 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 the crack. But when someone like reaches out to you personally in your DMs and asks for like such weird stuff, I'm like, dude. I think that was the weirdest thing that happened to me was that whole OnlyFans thing that he went back into my old. I was like 17, 18, 19 years of age, um, posting up these, you know, modeling pics. And he found them, like they're all gone from the internet now, but he found them and he put them up in his own OnlyFans and charged that much. Mad. And he had a couple of hundred uh, followers in there, so he was getting bank a month. I was like, where's my cut? Joe? Before you do one more, because we have an extra question here. This is a quick fire answer, right? Yeah. If you could stream with any celebrity or character, real or fictional, who would it be? Mia Clark. Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, I don't know. Oh, like streamer or celebrity? Just have on. Anyone. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Some people hate him right now, but what he's done in his career. I grew up watching Arnold Schwarzenegger from mm. the age of like seven. He's done it all. He's like movie star, politician, bodybuilder. Yeah. Just in terms of ins inspirational people, in terms of what he's achieved, you don't, you don't really beat him. But yeah, I just love Arnie. I would say Ryan Gosling, but I, to, um, uh, like, okay, he's a fantastic actor, but I'd say he's just so dry, like, personally. I'd yeah, say he's really dry. Who knows? Um, who knows? I don't know. But see, Arnold, he's been through the thick and thin of it, like. Yeah. So he'd know the, the whole content side of it, like, really, really well. I don't know. Um, it's a tough one. I genuinely don't know. Um... Do you know, like someone said it today, why don't you get Kit Harrington on the stream? Because everyone keeps re referencing me as Jon Snow. And I'd be like, yeah, that would be cool, but... I don't know. That's don't the know. kind of thing that's meme though, that people like. Yeah. People don't like that. I, I, yeah, I, that's a, I genuinely do not know. Um, but there's not... I, I listen, I'm not the kind of person who holds celebrities and this huge on this huge pedestal either i just love arnie and he's yeah gonna, he's gonna die soon so i suppose like in his in his netflix show that went up last I, year like he's probably a womanizing asshole i'm not saying i agree with like what he's done in his private life i'm just saying for somebody to look up to in terms of what he's achieved yeah. and as a you know i'm not yeah. advocating people's behaviors but i just love arnie um, personally now that i think of it i I think it would be PewDiePie, honestly, genuinely, because I, I look up to him a lot. 
um, he started from streaming in his kitchen, you know, and he streamed there for like years and years and years and then he blew up just out of nowhere. Um, he started from the very, very bottom, poor family and everything, and then look where he is now. Probably, probably PewDiePie. Yeah, I like to have him on. Okay, so number seven is forbidden fruit hot sauce, and it is one hundred and twenty-four. Wait, no, 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 this one, this one, this one. Oh shit! Have we only done? Oh, that's that's the bomb. Oh, f we're off to the bomb. Oh no! <gasps> <sighs> you get a you get a wing. Load up a wing there. Yeah, sorry. It, let's get a bit imaginative. It flew out of mine, so I wasn't doing I'm not taking it. <laughs> Look, hold on, hold on. Come here, give me this, give me this. This is Bosch's, right? This is Bosch's. Oh, it, oh, it flew out of mine. Look at the size of it, right? It flew out of mine. This is, this is what he did to me. Look at that. In hell. Okay, there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just going to ask the question before you take a bite, okay? If you could bring one game mechanic into the real world, like infinite lives or fast travel, what would it be and how would you use oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. It's okay. Ah, Fast travel. I'd love to go to Japan. What? Oh. Japan. I like fast travel. Oh. 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 That, I'm having milk. No! Oh. Oh, no! Don't do it, Ed. Don't do it. Don't give in to the dark side. <laughs> no! I'm giving in. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I might do it now in a minute. <laughs> My tongue is on fire. Okay, games. Game mechanics. I don't even know what game. Oh. Okay. Save and reload. Just save. Reload when a shit day happens. And just do it again. Uh, go when you... Yeah. Great, you get a shit day. You can have a shit day. Yeah. You can fast travel. Yeah, we can't go back. What? Why? We can't go back? We can't go back when you fast travel. We can't go back. No. There's only a stop. No, you can't go to another location. But it's no, no, you can't. But there's a 30 minute wait. No. No. You, you, you save and go back. <laughs> It's fine. You can do it again as many times as you want because you just reload. No, because. Ah! Oh, because it's Skyrim. No, fast travel is fast travel. Save and reloading is saving and reloading. No, but you. No, but. My teeth. My tongue. My teeth. No, my tongue. My, my tongue. tongue. My tongue is like. My gums, hold My tongue, my tongue, I can't feel my tongue. Everything else is okay, but my tongue is <sighs> That last one, whatever way I ate it, it just all went on yeah, my tongue. I, uh, it just all went on my tongue. It was like, <sighs> on my tongue. I got chicken stuck in my teeth, and the sauce is still on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got chicken stuck in my teeth. I like I get the oh, oh. <laughs> He had milk. I so said he cheated. If you say no, you have milk. Is that your answer? Fast travel? Fast travel. Okay. Ah. Save, save and reload. Okay guys, the next one is the bomb. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. It's 135,000. Oh my god. Oh. We shouldn't. No. <laughs> no. No, no, because they don't do this in that ones. What? They don't. What they do is, uh -huh. what they do is, they put a bit of it on 
No, fuck that. No, no, that's what they do. What did you say? I said, fuck that, we'll put it on the fucking wing. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god. refreshing! <laughs> <laughs> he just popped the car! That juice is. I'm gonna ask a question while you get that ready, okay? No, Bosh. 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 We shouldn't. No, we, we shouldn't. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Bosh, uh, uh, no, no, Bosh, we should. <laughs> okay, you do what you need to do. I have this image that I'd like you to look at. I'm going to pull it up for the chat to see. And then Mr. Gibbon, you're going to have to give us a backstory. Uh, we'll take a brief intermission. Uh, well, he walks like a flamingo around the room. Uh, ah! Why is that real? Like, oh, ah! Why is that real? Ah. Black up. I can't feel like. Oh, I can't. Ah. Oh. Shit's getting bad. I can't. Shit's getting bad. Ah! Ah! Send help. Ah! 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 Ha! Ah. Ah. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. Ah. That's hot. That's, uh, that's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, f that's hot. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, that's so hot. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> was that really bad? That one was so bad. That was the worst. Like my tongue is like a made Vesuvius. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. Like oh, hold on. Ten. I don't know how we're the next two. I can't. Like, oh, we have to. Take a teeny bit, guys. Like so, you lathered that on. Yeah, well, I, I, I regret that decision. <laughs> Every time I breathe in, it's just hot. But what was the question? We haven't asked it yet. I have what? to ask it now, are you ready? Oh, Wait, we haven't answered the question? We haven't asked it yet. We haven't asked it yet. I'm going to give him a second to just look at it. Uh, so. That is okay. so hot. Is this, is ready? This, yeah. <clears throat> is this a question for this? <laughs> are you f***ing serious? Hey. <laughs> Is that McLovin? <laughs> Is that McLovin? Did you? Did you? I was 10 years of age in primary school and we had to learn <clears throat> an instrument for a year and talk about it and send it to our pen pal. Did you have pen pal? <laughs> <laughs> Just go on, keep so, going. I might think. Uh, so we had pen pals, and I, and I think this is what I said to it. My pen pal called Grace. Dear Grace, my name is A. Gibbon. I'm 10 years of, it's years of age. I live in such and such and such. I have a cat named Phoenix. I never had a cat named Phoenix. He is very cool. Soon I will be getting a cool dog. I never got a cool dog. <laughs> My dad is building my family a new house and my dad got me a new motorbike. It goes 50 miles an hour. It doesn't go 50 miles an hour and I didn't get a motorbike. I was scared when I went on it first time. Oh, I did. It was like kind of a moped. I was very happy when my dad got me the bike. It was very cool. We will be moving to our house next year. I can't wait. I went to my house right now on the 6th, on the 6th of the 10th, 2005. My birthday is in one month. I'll be 11 years old. When the new house is built, my dad said he will build me a tree house. I never got a tree house. <laughs> it's going to be a big tree house. The tree that my dad is going to build on is a 200 year old tree. I don't know where I got the number for the tree, how old the tree was. My dad said that he's going to build a, a road for me. We moved to the new house. 
What? It's about a year ago, mum and dad bought me a guitar. I like music. I play good at the tin whistle. Every Wednesday, I go to my guitar lessons. When I go home, I play a song. I'm trying to make a song for myself, but it is very, very hard making a new song. I hope I get a new guitar. A real guitar. Like an electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> then, I don't make songs. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh. I had to send that to my pen pal. Um, I don't know where, where, I think she was German. I, yes, she was. Did she reply? No. <laughs> <laughs> I never got anything back from Grace. <laughs> Grace decided to leave the Pen Pen Association <laughs> at that moment in time. Bosh, would you like to comment on the picture you saw? It's fantastic. I, I wish I was in your Pen Pal Association. Me too. This is Matasana's hot sauce, chili, monoloco, 680,000. Okay, we're not even on a million yet. This is easy. The last one was 135, this one's 680,000. Wait, no, that can't be right. Because this is the second last one. Yeah. And the one after that is 3 million. The one after this yeah. is 2.6 million. Oh my God. So how are we going from this? Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm so hard. sorry. I want a bit more of that there now. Put a bit, bit more. Jesus, come on. That's the same as yours. Right. <laughs> Slash. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> go. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my fing god. I haven't even swallowed it yet, it's hot. What's the question? Jesus Christ. Ah! I'm really scared. Okay, the question is really quickly. Ah! If you had to create a game in a completely ridiculous genre, like cooking with zombies, what would it be? Ah! Farm Sim with Mr. Gibbon. Ah! That's me. Farm Sim, Farm Sim with Mr. Ah! Gibbon. You go out west, you start your little, little house. Mr. Gibbon introduces you, comes out in his shorts, shorts and well. I punched my nose! I punched my nose! Huh? Give me like a wave. Huh? It's really like a tsunami came in. Came in. Oh my god. Uh, 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 I can't to breathe. Uh, Oh, it's so hard. Like I'm breathing in the sun. Like I'm on <sighs> That's the worst by about 20 uh, times. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 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 Milk is good. No. Uh, I don't know if I can do the last one. I don't know if I can do the last you one. Got you, bro. I can't know if I can you do the last one. Give me some milk, please. There you go. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I always wanted a zombie game where it was like, I don't know, a zombie game. Any zombie game. Give me the day before, but good. Last guy, sir. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we have one more before we do the next one, okay? What would you say is the most rewarding aspect of being some of the few known Irish streamers and how has it given you an advantage? Wait, what? It's giving me f*** all, really. 
You get free Indian down the local. What are you talking about? No, oh, it's not anymore. What well, you did? It did. Not anymore. Um, <sighs> nothing. It doesn't give me anything. No one knows streamers in Ireland anyway. So uh, no one knows me. No. No. No, nothing. I don't get anything. I get any shit. I was voted top f***ing three in, in Ireland. I go, who? I don't, I don't f***ing know. I, who's comes up with this shit? What? No, I got nothing. The last dab. Guys, this That's is the last, last dab. This is Pepper X. <laughs> Experience 2.6 million. <sighs> Put it on. Uh, I can't, man. Put it on. Uh, I can't, man. I can't. Okay, I'm not I'm ready. Put it on. I'm, putting, I'm ready to go. No, I'm not ready. Come on. Okay. Oh uh, Brave warriors. <laughs> You better have a steady hand or else you're going to pour out more than you want. <laughs> I, I did three little drops. I did three. That's part, that's where you can. Okay, good. Go, 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 go. Good enough, we're stretching now. Go. Okay, question really quickly. Lastly, let's end having survived yeah. this. Oh God, I'm scared. Survived yeah, all wings. Ah, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Imagine you had to organize the world's largest game of Duck Duck Goose. How would you do it? Oh, no, no. I'm actually okay. Fine. I'm actually okay. Uh, That's fine. I'm actually okay. That's okay. I feel like I cheated the system a little bit what? there. What the <laughs> it's not too bad. More. <laughs> it's, it's actually not too bad. Here. Give me some more. Yeah. Here, take some more. Here. Okay. Here a bit. It's not that bad. Yeah. Chew it, chew it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I can't smell anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, it's not, <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, this isn't. <laughs> not so bad. My life. Oh, it's I did. not that bad. No, no, no. Okay. I can't taste anything. That's fine. That's actually fine compared to the other one. I can't taste anything. I can't taste it either. I don't know if that was meant to be hot. I'm not even kidding. I think my, my, ta my taste buds are gone. That's 2.6 million. Yeah, you wouldn't think it. No. The double. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't. Was I couldn't. I couldn't do anything about that. I couldn't do anything about that. That was a double cough for it. Did we drink it? I think. I know. I said, make sure it didn't fall through. Do I drink it? <laughs> no, Ed, no, Edwin. No. no. I want. I, 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 I don't think this is that hot. It's not bad. It's not bad. No, this is what you do. Finger in like this. One finger. That's how you taste. That's how you do the test. Don't do it. No. No? No, it's actually not that bad. Like, genuine, sincerely. That's the, the second last one was way worse than the last one. <laughs> like, legit. I didn't, even that, that one second one I had there, it didn't do anything for me. So I don't know if I'm numb to the spice at this stage, but <clears throat> that was kind of anticlimactic. Yeah. Oh my god. That was bad. It really wasn't. I'm gonna have a bit more. What the fuck? I'm gonna have a big one, okay? Yeah. Is that the correct one? Is that it? The last dab experience. Yeah. Over 91% mm. pepper X. Yeah, that's it. It's that's actually, not bad. It's actually fine. Do we shake it? Do we shake it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the last one didn't evoke the reaction that I thought it was going to, but guys, GG's. Yeah, thank you guys. I hope you guys got your uh, your 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 enjoyment out of that. And thanks to Zoe for hosting. And thanks to Dell for sending it in and setting it up as well. Appreciate oh, it, guys. Um